My name is Khalil Gibran Mohammed. I'm the director of the Schomburg Center. It's my delight and joy to welcome you to our first installment of Conversations in Black Freedom Studies for our 2015-16 season as well as our school year. Uh, if this is the first time that you've been uh, to our series, it's first Thursdays uh, through the much of the academic year from 6 to 8 o'clock. So you don't have to know the subject. You don't have to know uh, the time exactly. It's the same, and the subject's always worth your time. Uh, this series is an adult education series focused on bringing the campus and the community together in a thoughtful dialogue and exchange about uh, the recent past. Most of our work focuses on the period since World War II and looking at what we generally call black freedom studies. And I just wanted to share some thoughts about um, Maya Angelou, who was a Renaissance woman, as you know, born in St. Louis, Missouri. We often associate her with Stamps, Arkansas, but she migrated there as a child, as a three-year-old um, from California. But she was born on April 4th, 1928. And I love uh, being at the Schomburg and sort of watching what has developed from the West Coast. It's, it's uh, amazing to finally be able to participate, particularly in this conversations in the Black Freedom Studies. Um, and today I wanna talk a little bit about um, Thelma Dale Perkins, or Thelma Dale as she was known for most of her life before she married and then uh, later Dale Perkins. Um, and I, I, I sort of wanna spend a little time talking about her, the specifics of her life, because I, I imagine she's one of these figures that often if you read about her, is talked about as a behind the scenes organizer, as someone whose name appears places, but we don't really know who they were or how they I'd like to greet you all. I have the honor of speaking about my comrade, Mayor Shokwe Lumumba, this evening. Um, and Shokwe, we greet you with on behalf of the men, women, and children of the New African People's Organization and the Malcolm X Grassroots Movement, we want to tell you, free the land. 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 By any means necessary. So we're going to talk about Conrad Shokwe Lumumba. My theme for my presentation is Shokwe Lives. And we'll talk about that, how he lives today. It's my pleasure to come to you uh, this evening and raise the name of General Baker. Uh, General Baker was many things. He was a labor organizer. He was a teacher. He was a community leader. He was a father, a grandfather, a partner to Marion Kramer herself, an activist um, based in Detroit. History will probably remember him um, as a founder of the League of Revolutionary Black Workers in Detroit in 1968. Look at the enduring relationship between Maya Angelou and um, Amiti Baraka and uh, Toni Morrison, and we go on and on, Angela Davis. Uh, whenever they got together, you felt you were in a circle of love. And I think we, we talk about the bitterness and things like that. We forget that dimension of it. Um, as a matter of fact, I was going to go on stage with Baraka a few years ago. And I was, you know, I've been working on this biography of Baraka for a long time. And I knew that he was at Howard University at the same time that Toni Morrison was there. So we're about to go on stage, and Baraka must be 78 maybe at the time or something like that. So I said, uh, Mitty, were you at, uh, did you know Toni Morrison were you, when you were at Howard? And he turned around like a giddy 15-year-old boy. <laughs> he said, man, I had the biggest crush on her. <laughs> I couldn't pay attention in class. You know? <laughs> so I asked Toni Morrison about it. She said, he lies. <laughs> so that's the first thing to remember.